Hi children, today I'm going to show you how to make a seahorse. It can look something like this, but if for any reason you guys don't have little papers or something, you can color with a marker or a colored pencil, or you could paint it. I'm gonna show you kind of how I did this. So I took a little bit less than a half of a paper plate, cut it. That's gonna be the body of the seahorse, like this, okay? And then I took some glue or a glue stick and I just took some different colored pieces of paper and I glued them on all over, all over the paper plate till it was covered. So you can, and if you, like I said, if you don't have little pieces of paper, you can color with a, a crayon or a marker, or you can take a little bit of paint and paint like maybe a circle. And then you could do another color next to it. So you could do it with paint or you could do it with paper. You could also take, a, you know, different colors of marker and make, you know, shapes, different shapes with the marker. Just change the color a bit so that it looks nice and colorful. See? So you can have marker, or you can do it with crayons, whatever you have in the house. So that's the body of the, that's gonna be the body of the seahorse. It needs a head and it has a kind of like a straight skinny mouth. So with the other half of the paper plate, you're going to make kind of like half of a circle and a mouth, and then you're going to cut it out or have mom help you cut it out or dad. And then you'll color that whatever color you want. And then you'll take it, you'll put some glue on it and you will glue it onto the body. So it looks like this. And then you can either make an eye with a marker, or you can use a googly eye, or you could cut a circle from a piece of paper. So now you have the body and you have the head. So what this needs now is, a, well, it actually needs these little scales up the back. So what I did with the leftover paper plate, I cut little triangles, right? And I used paint on some, and then I used marker on some, and then I used uh, crayon on some, and you take the different triangles that are left over from the edge of the paper plate that you didn't need that half of, and you take it and on the pointy side, on the pointy front side where the color is, you just put a little glue and you stick it to the to this uh, seahorse. And you go down until you have as many as you'd like to put on. I, I did it down the whole thing. See, like that. And then you need to, you want to have a tail because seahorses have tails. So you want to cut tail, a curved tail, a tail that has a curl in it so that it looks kind of like this. And then you're going to take that and you're going to glue that a little bit at the top of it, not where the curly part is. And you're going to glue that to the bottom and then you'll color paint or marker that too. On mine, I had used like a bluish green here and here, and then I had different colors for the plates, and I have more that you could put on. And you could put on as many as you'd like down the seahorse, right? Like that. And actually, if you had extra little pieces of paper, you could actually use the little pieces of paper as well and have it down there. And you'd color that, and you'd have fun, and you'd have your own little seahorse. I hope you had I hope you'll have fun doing this project. Thank you. Bye-bye.